Liberty softball opens up Big South play this weekend, hosting Winthrop here. Tell us a bit more about the season and how it's going. Sophomore Tori Zavodny. And all we talked about with the coaches this past week was about the competition evening up a little bit. You guys have had a very challenging preseason schedule, if you will. Uh, how has that prepared you for, say, the classic you hosted last weekend? You know, we've been playing some tough teams, you know, LSU, Alabama, and, you know, they really put us to the test to, you know, playing our game every game, no matter if we're playing the worst team in the country or the best team in the country, just playing our game. And that's really been the test. And um, last weekend, you know, we had some good games, had some rough times, but, you know, we've, we're ready for this um, conference series this weekend. So, Tori, coach told us, look, all the girls on this roster have the ability to play Division One softball, no doubt about it. But sometimes the mental game has to expand a little bit. And she says this year, this team knows going into every game that it can win. So the training you girls have done to increase the mental side of softball, how has that been going? Um, it's been good. You know, Coach Cassidy works a lot with us with the mental game and not only practicing it, but incorporating it into our play. You know, before every pitch, just doing our routine every time, taking a deep breath. Um, I remember Chase Cassidy, our pitcher, she always said, you know, it's embarrassing to do a big deep breath on the mound, but, you know, if you got to do it, you got to do it. And it just shows that you're in control of that moment and it just really gets your mind right. For you, you've got a new role this year you kind of moved over to one of the corner outfield spots in high school what did you play last year obviously you played center field so how much left field have you played in your career um I played center in high school but um, I believe my freshman year in high school I had to earn my spot on the team and so I started out in left field so I played there before um, but it's definitely a new position for me so there aren't many games here as we tape this this is a Tuesday afternoon around lunchtime not many noon games will be played here. The sun, I noticed, was just playing games with everybody at practice. So when is the sun the best in this stadium? And, and at noon, obviously, you'll play tournament games probably at this time down the road. So how has this helped kind of help defensively knowing where the sun is? Yeah. Um, usually we play at night, so the sun is actually bad for right field, but um, so I'm usually in luck. But today, you know, it's really high up there around noon, so um, it's just hard to, you know, block the glove or block the sun with a glove. So Coach Pinto and I have talked about it and just, you know, what are we going to do to resolve that? So it's just whether it's putting a visor on, sunglasses, putting your glove up there, anything to catch those balls. So, Tori, I know last weekend you came in slumping a little bit. We talked about it. Your role is more than just being a player. You're a leader, although just a sophomore coach thinks a lot about you f to lead this team. But you had a great weekend at the plate. Talk about that first. What adjustments did you make last week? You hit 500. You scored seven runs. So offensively, you looked a little bit more comfortable in the box. So what some adjustments have you been making? Um, I really was just focusing on, you know, I tend to drop my hand, so I really just had to focus on those fundamentals. But I also just had to think of, you know, I just need to get on base. You know, with, when I get on base, I help my team win, and that was really my um, objective last weekend, and just to have fun and not think about the fundamentals. And um, <laughs> Coach John made the catch there. <laughs> All right. But yeah, just being, you know, being the spirit of this team and being able to just um, – help us win in any other way, whether that's getting on base or just supporting my teammates. So that was just a big adjustment mentally. A couple more thoughts. When we're around the basketball teams during Christmas, all they think about is that sport they're playing because classes are out. For these girls this week, it's spring break. Uh, it, that's give and take some. I know a lot of people would want to be out doing what the other students are doing, but you girls are here to play softball and get an education. That being said, concentrating just on softball for this week and no classes to worry about, how important is this time for you and your team? Oh, it's very important. I mean, just this is the only thing we have to worry about right now. And so just getting better every day. And, you know, we do have a first conference series this weekend, so that's a big thing for us. So just focusing every day on practice. I mean, yesterday we were um, doing outfield for over an hour. And so we were just really focusing on just the little things because the little things in this game mean the most. So. And finally, obviously, Winthrop comes to town this weekend. Uh, you're from the Charlotte area, which is a stone's throw from Rock Hill. Is it kind of neat playing Winthrop? And what kind of rivalry do you think they bring to this softball team? Yeah, um, that is definitely a very close school to my house. Um, so I'm going to be playing two of my former teammates, so that should be interesting. Um, one of them I'm really good friends with, so that should um, hopefully not affect my play. I'll have to you know, incorporate my mental aspect in that. Right. But um, really just we're going to hope that we come out with three wins. So, Good stuff, Tori. We appreciate the time. Enjoy the rest of spring break, and we'll see you Friday. Thank you. That's sophomore Tori Zavodny. Stay tuned to LibertyFlames.com for more softball action.